Hey, it's Matt with Kissing Country's Christmas Wish. Time to grant another wish. This one comes from Lindy, who uh, nominated her dad, who's losing his brother, and he doesn't have a lot of time left, and it's, you know, there's hardships over the holiday season. So we've decided we're gonna bring her, mom, and dad to Ontario, to Huntsville, to go see brother just in time for Christmas. It's another Kissing Country Christmas Wish brought to you by Action Furnace. And joining us in studio today, Jack, is the lovely Lindy Creighton. Yes, thank you for coming in. How are you, Lindy? I'm okay. Um, she, Lindy is very, very nervous, and she has no reason to be. We're about to do something very, very special because she's a fantastic daughter. I'm not trying to say anything that's going to bring the tears out early here. It's not going to take very long. But, Lindy, you want to do something very special for your parents. We'll get to that in just a moment. And uh, right now we say hello to Matt. Matt, you're about to ambush, so to speak, uh, uh, Lindy's parents. Tell us about your parents really quick. Their names are? All right, Matt, you're hanging outside of their place, is that right? We just went in, you hear the door close, my glasses are fogging up, so it's, it's great timing. Okay, Good. perfect, okay. Well, there's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, things fogging up and tearing up here very shortly. I think so. Okay, Matt, you're gonna knock on the door, you're okay. gonna surprise them. Lindy gave you the key yeah. to their yeah. place, which I don't know if that was the wisest move, Lindy, but it's anyway. Pretty brave. It, but... I've already made coffee. All right, yeah. Well, that's... It's only the key to the back door, you just have Okay, good thinking. <laughs> Smart girl. Good thinking. All right, Matt, you're going to knock on the door right now. Okay, let's go. All right. It's a lot of the wreath, I would imagine. Hey. No problem. We've got three cats here. Okay. We're going to come in if that's okay. we got something special for you. Yep, okay. Hi, Peggy Ann. Hi. How are you? Good. My name's Matt. I'm from Kiss and Country 103.9. I have somebody very special on the phone for you, okay? Okay. Okay, here you go. Hello. Hi, Peggy Ann. Hi. I have one of your seven daughters on the line right now. She's in studio with us. My name is Chris Sheets, along with Jacqueline uh, Sweeney uh, here in the studio. And your lovely daughter, Lindy, is here, and she's got something she'd like to read to you, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. And that's okay, so I'm, I'm going to do it for her, okay? This is what she wrote to us. Okay. I don't know where to really start other than to just say to lay it out there. This has been a hard couple of weeks for my family, especially my dad. My dad is on pension, so he doesn't have a whole lot of money at any given time, even less after he pays the bills and whatever bills he's able to. I am currently not working myself, but I'm on EI benefits, but I help them pay their bills and such. About a week and a half ago, my Aunt Joan, my dad's other brother's wife, had a heart attack and she's going to be all right and is even at home now, but that was just the start of it all. A couple of days after, we found out that my Uncle Martin, my dad's brother, was diagnosed with liver and lung cancer and it, was far, it had far progressed that there's nothing that they can do. They gave him a matter of months, two months at most, and they said that was being generous. That same night, my Aunt Loretta, my dad's sister, was taken to the hospital and she had a stroke. No p p paralysis, thank goodness, but she can't remember things in most people. She's also having problems with her speech. My dad hasn't seen his family in 20 years. Just never had the extra money to travel. Flying costs so much. As both my Aunt Loretta and Uncle Martin live in Ontario, I want nothing more than to be able to send my dad home to see his family, maybe seeing him, would jog my Aunt Loretta's memory. Who knows for certain? But most of all, I'd love for my dad to be able to see my Uncle Martin one last time and be able to say goodbye. As far as my Uncle Martin, the news just gets worse. Two days ago, we were informed that his cancer had spread to his bones and started to invade his brain. They're now talking a matter of days, possibly weeks. So the likelihood of my dad getting there in time to say goodbye is unlikely, but at least he'd get to see the rest of his family as well as my Aunt Loretta. I know it would be a hard decision for you guys to make, and I completely understand, but at the end of the day, there is nothing I wouldn't do for my dad and my mom. Seeing him so upset just eats me. Thank you for taking time to read my story. So that's a, a really cruddy couple of weeks, it sounds like. Yeah. To put it very mildly. So here's the deal. 
we're gonna speed up a Kissin' Country Christmas wish. And tomorrow, you two are gonna get on an airplane and fly to somewhere you probably should have been 20 years ago to see Bob's family. We're gonna take care of flying you there, we're gonna take care of your transportation, and we're also gonna take care of your accommodations while you're there. And we're speeding this up because we really want Bob and you to be able to see Martin before he goes. And here's the other thing that Lindy doesn't know. She's coming with you. Uh, Lindy, I hope you can go tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'll figure it You're going to go with your parents. And you're going to see your uncle too. If we have whatever it takes to get the three of you on that airplane tomorrow and to get to Ontario, to Toronto, and then get to, it's, where, where do you guys live? Huntsville. Huntsville. We're going to get you guys there. So if you, you want to tell Bob that right now? I'll let you do that, okay? Here. Hello? Hey, Bob. Yeah. You and Peggy Ann and, and Lindy are, are leaving tomorrow on an airplane and you're going back to Huntsville to see your brother and sister. Just one sec. So what I need you to, to do now is get as many clean pair of underwear and suitcase <laughs> as possible and, and, and get ready to get on that airplane and, and get there to see them. Does that work for you? <laughs> we are thrilled to be able to make this happen for you guys. Family is really all that matters and the fact that, uh, that this can happen is, is absolutely amazing. And this all happened because of, of uh, Lindy, of course, reaching out to us. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. You have an amazing daughter. She cares about you very much. Yes, I do. I have seven of them, so... Kissing Country Christmas Wish, it's a father of seven daughters. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You, you, you get to Huntsville, you hug your hug your brother and you hug your sister and, wow. and, and see everybody else that you need to see. How does that sound? It sounds good. It's, it's going to be a tough Christmas, but we want you to have the best Christmas you can, all right? Okay. Lydia, you have a, one last thing, anything to say? Not really, it's been my wish to get to see him. Well, you get to see him tomorrow. Okay. Come on in, Rob. <laughs>